Hello in the pink Texas, this is Topo Chico again, uh, reporting from my uh, my bunker out in hill country. Uh, every so often my buddies and I, we like to get together and uh, just prepare for the Armageddon. I mean, we've done it so many times now, it just seems like pretty fun. And well, we figured, you know, Brooke Hogan and all, well, that, that should be enough reason. So anyway, um, uh, yeah, it's okay. Um, uh, this is uh, the next installment of my little series here, and uh, I'm going to talk about... Uh, Rick Perry, Rick Perry, uh, who's our uh, fashionable governor right now. He's uh, our candidate for the Republican Party. Uh, and again, I'm reminded of Dante. Dante reserved the, the ninth, the most severe la layer of his inferno for traitors, people who were one thing and, and grew to greatness on that one thing and then sold it out to become something else. So... Um, and we have a rich, rich history of that here in Texas. The, uh, you know, we got the Phil Graham and, uh, uh, well, Rick Perry. And, and, and uh, let's see, what, what kind of job has he really done? I, you know, I know that, that there are a lot of people in Texas who, are, who really are better off. You know, not to borrow uh, other rhetoric, but, you know, you ask a handful of people here in Texas, are you better off than you were like six years ago or, or, or whatever? And they're going to say, heck yes. I mean, what with... Uh, with our boss Cheney in the White House, and and yeah, yeah, we're just making money. Hit. Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, I have to take this. It's Pink Lady. WTF, PL? Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's a. Uh, uh, I'm doing a, another uh, uh, video post for you right now, and uh, um, yeah. Oh, oh, I, I've been meaning to tell you. I, I talked to the dry cleaner dropped your stuff off he didn't think he can get that uh smudge out and you know I, I think he has kind of a crush on you he's always a little miffed you know he's like where is the pink lady every time i come in and uh yeah oh um yeah no i know there's lots of other candidates there's candidates for uh judges and yeah yeah we've got congressional races and so forth uh, another candidate for governor um uh well, you know, I hadn't really heard. Is he some, like, libertarian crackpot? He's all like, oh, I believe in small government. Let's all smoke pot and play with our guns and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, no, oh. This is a Democratic candidate for governor. Okay, well, what, what's his name? No, I'm sorry, that, yeah, that didn't ring a, yeah, I, no, sure, sure hadn't. Well, I used the Google, I mean, um, okay. Well, I, I guess uh, I guess I can uh, yeah try to try to do a post on him too. Hey, uh, I left the the vlog running. Oh, hey, while I got you on the phone, uh, uh, John Cusack he keeps calling. He wants that jacket back. I, I know I'm supposed to duck the creditors, but um, well, I mean you know he he could really hook me up. Maybe give me a bit part in High Fidelity Two or something. Um, okay. Um, well, all right. Uh, hey, can I put you on speakerphone? That that'd be kind of fun. Okay, here. Um, uh, are you there? Oh, <laughs> I hung up on her. Anyway, uh, where were we? Okay, um, uh, oh, beer, beer. The beer for today, I've chosen La Fin de Monde. Uh, there, this is by a, a Canadian brewery, uh, Unibrew, and they do a whole bunch of classic uh, Belgian-style ales. And this is a, a big beer. You know, whenever you're preparing for the Armageddon, uh, you, you need to have a, a big beer like uh Fin du Monde. it's it's got a lot of booze the belgian brewers typically they they just uh they're crazy people they put all sorts of wonderful flavorings and booze and so forth in it and uh well uh let's get this poured into the glass i'll try not to bruise it too bad and uh oh man look at all that foam i'm an idiot i must have shaken it up on the way home but we'll just go ahead and smell it you're gonna have to trust me Oh God! It just smells so good. It's it's got like a spicy kind of smells, like coriander and and and, and things like that, just popping up off the yeast. Oh man, these guys these guys got it made. And look at that great graphic on there. You know, the end of the world, huh? Yeah, you better believe it. Anyway, um, so Rick Perry, end of the world. Uh, apparently, some other candidate. I'll, I'll be talking about him. Uh, I, I guess uh, shortly. Uh, uh, thanks very much for. Uh, for coming out. Uh, uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the bar once this uh, head thins out. Thanks. Bye.